Well, what's good everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to do chickens out in the suburbs. My last video broke 100 views in like 15 hours, so I guess we'll do that again today. The first thing you need to remember is that in the suburbs, there are much different laws about chickens out there than down here on the countryside. So, one thing to always be noting is that you probably can't have roosters, like this one right here, his name's Waldo. You probably can't have roosters like that because they're just a disturbance. Like, imagine like you have like a really tight area, like a tight neighborhood. You have like a backyard big enough to have chickens in them. So, instead of that, so in that chicken yard, you have a rooster. Um, imagine how if how much sanity your neighbors are gonna lose off of that. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't really be keeping roosters out in your local neighborhoods, but you still can. But I'd highly recommend checking up with your town about that. So now it's time to set up the area that you're gonna be having your chickens out in. So a good place is usually in a well, in this, is usually in a well open area, away from any sort of stuff. So if you have like a garden, like in yesterday's video, that's what, that's one thing, I recommend you keep away from them. So yeah, it's one thing you should really be keeping away from your chickens is your garden. And yeah, there are other things you should be keeping miles from your chickens, like like foam and other stuff like that. So yeah. Now that you learn what you should be keeping away from your chickens, now it is officially time that you get your chickens. Just remember one thing: it doesn't matter if you're in a suburban neighborhood, you will still get things like owls at night. So you are still going to need a chicken coop. And it still doesn't matter how many coyotes you have in your neighborhood or wolves. I don't know what you have in your suburban neighborhood. They will still occasionally be in your yard. So make sure your chicken coop is just as strong as you would build it if you lived out in the countryside. So that's one. That's just a few things you should keep note of. Just because you're in a much more densely populated area of town doesn't make you completely away, just separated, isolated from predators, so always remember, predators are still a real threat. It is one thing you should always be keeping note of, because predators are still a real threat no matter where you are. Like you could be raising chickens in downtown, you're still gonna have predators there. Now the raising process still goes as follows. You should still be doing that sort of raising progress process that you usually do in anywhere you live. So it doesn't matter where you're gonna be living, you should still have the same raising process. Keep them, in a, keep them in a brooder till it's warm enough for them. Decrease the brooder by five degrees every week. And then let them outside once the temperature outside has, since the temperature outside is equivalent to the brooder. No more, no less. It can still be more though. Now that all of your chickens are set and ready and now they're outside and having a good time, just remember, you're better off rearranging them in your backyard than pasturing them. Because what's really the point of pasturing them in a yard. So this is where your chicken coop can be like completely stationary. It's it's not forced, but it's a but stationary coops are much more recommended out in the suburbs than now here. Cuz out here if there's like a predator that like finds the chickens, we can just move them to a new area. It'll take months for that predator getting to take note of the chickens. So that's one great thing you should always be keeping in mind. That predators are relentless. But yeah, if you then decide you're going to move out to a property and you still want to take your chickens with you, that is completely normal. I have a, I actually have a video that you can watch about moving chickens long distances. So if you decide you're going to bring your chickens with you and you're moving hundreds of miles, something you can learn how to do by watching that video. Subscribe, watch as many videos as you possibly can. It's the most obvious way to help this channel. And yeah, I hope you have a good day. See you in the next video.